please feel free to sing along. I'm going to do an Aaron Tiffin song, Stars and Stripes. It's okay to tap your feet, too. If you ask me where I come from, here's what I tell everyone. I was born by God's dear grace. things there's directions to follow right okay thank you um, I want to give you a report on what we did with AB 817 I want to thank you for participating and signing those petitions uh, we worked really hard we are over 5,000 at this point if you have not yet had the opportunity to sign do feel free to come over to the table and sign uh, yes Governor Brown has signed the bill but that doesn't mean that the battle is over. Uh, this is an issue of sovereignty. We all understand that and uh, we are going to continue to press for um, challenging this, this uh, having non-citizens work at the polls and handle the polls. And by the time we're finished, at the end of the day, you're going to understand why it's an issue. We have some serious problems with our election process in California. We're working hard to uh, bring about the changes to restore integrity to our elections. But let me tell you about the uh, AB 817. We had the petitions come in and on the 7th of uh, August, we faxed all 78 assembly reps a letter of opposition uh, explaining to them why this bill was not uh, uh, worthy of passage. Um, unfortunately, uh, they voted on the bill the next day, and uh, so uh, it went to the governor's desk. But you all continued signing the petitions. You uh, uh, pushed even further into uh, your communities to let people know about what's going on. The amazing, amazing thing is as we talk with people, uh, regardless 
of party affiliation, people were shocked to see and hear that our uh, representatives were considering having non-citizens have any part of the election process. Um, in our great nation, we have lots of ways that non-citizens can be part of our communities, and indeed they are. But elections are part of the vehicle by which citizens address our government, we vote on those who will represent us, uh, we uh, deal with issues in our communities. It, it, it is the way that we have a voice. And that is the, the, the job of citizens, it should be the responsibility of citizens, and we believe that that's where it should be returned. So um, I want to um, uh, let you know uh, at this point, later on in the day, about one o'clock, we're going to deliver the petitions to the governor's office. And at that time, we're going to in, in, invite all of you to address your representatives. At the tables there, we have a list of uh, who voted uh, against the bill. And uh, we'd like you to go check on the list. And whoever your representative is, uh, we'd like to encourage you to find your way to their office and um, ask them why they voted the way they did. If they voted for the bill, ask them what they were thinking. Why would they vote yes for that bill? If they voted no, we'd like to hear what they have to say too. Why did they vote no? We need to begin to become more visible to our representatives. Um, one thing that we have learned about the state of California is that we are huge. In the last two and a half years, I have driven about 77,000 miles from the San Diego up to the Shasta County area, from the Bay Area counties to the Nevada border, and all through the central counties. And what I have learned about the citizens of California is we are all very much alike. Every one of us, regardless of party affiliation, we believe in freedom, we believe in justice, and we believe that America is America and we want it to stay uh, grounded in the founding principles that got us going. But um, the, thank you, the um, challenge with our state being so large is that we don't know each other. And uh, this is always a fun thing that happens when I'm traveling. If I'm up in the northern counties, I'll usually ask the people of the northern counties, so what do you think is causing some of the problems in California? And, uh, and we'll chat about it and I'll say, how many of you think the problem's coming from the southern counties? And almost everyone will raise their hands. And then I'll ask the southern counties, so what do you think is causing all the problems? Uh, what do you think it's all coming from? And I'll ask them, uh, how many of you think it's coming from the northern counties? And they all raise their hands. And the amazing thing is, the problems are coming from, I believe, our representatives not hearing the citizens. There are so many bills passed that never are run by the citizens. We have very little um, involvement anymore. We don't even know what bills are passed. Uh, how often do we hear, okay, it's January and 700 new bills were passed and somehow none of them were run past the citizens. We are now dealing with over-regulation. Our businesses are leaving the state. Our students cannot get a job after they graduate, so many are moving home with their folks because of what's happening in the economy, and that is because of policies that are passed from our legislators. We believe that we must have a voice in our government. Two ways that we do that is to get more involved in the legislative process. Um, Election Integrity Project has been sending out a legislative alerts. If you are not receiving our email communications, please go to the website at electionintegrityproject.com. Sign up to receive the legislative alerts. We send them out whenever there's a, a bill that we believe is gonna negatively impact our elections or contribute to the challenges that are already there. Or sign up today. Um, there's a sign up. On every table. On every table there is a sign up. So during the day, um, swing over and sign up. In California, we cannot just send you an email. We have what's called a double opt-in. And so for us to send you our email communication, you first must let us know you want to receive them. So one of the, the first step is that you contact us, either by going to the website or you can sign up at the table there. The second thing is we then must send you an email saying, looks like you want to receive our emails click here if that's correct. So you must actually click on that link saying, yes, that's correct, I want to. 
And then the third thing I want to tell you that we have learned about email, and this is probably all of them, if you forward an email that you think is important to your email list, uh, you must first delete the unsubscribe button at the bottom of that email uh, because if you don't and you send it out and someone inadvertently clicks on that unsubscribe, they may think they're unsubscribing themselves. They're actually unsubscribing you, the person who sent it out. So we heard from many, many people um, that they used to receive emails and then some, uh, they were no longer receiving them. And so we worked with our webmaster and we figured, that's, figured out that is what the problem is. So if you fell off our list, we cannot simply just put you back on the list. You have to go and sign up again or go to the website and sign up that way, so either way. We encourage you to get the word out, to let other Californians uh, know that we must be involved. We must be hearing about the legislative uh, bills that are going through. We've, we, we're going to begin educating citizens about the legislative process. If you go to our website, you will see there'll be information there. So few of us knew how to get involved, and that's where the problem is. So. Uh, all that for uh, enough of that on the legislative process. What I want to talk about now, really, very quickly, is um, I recognize all your faces because I've had a chance to see you in your counties. So if you're from the northern counties, uh, raise your hand. Let's see how many from the northern counties. Okay. And then if you're from the southern counties, raise your hand if you're from the southern counties. And look around because I want you all to get to meet each other. If you're from the central counties, raise your hand if you're from the central counties. This is just a smattering of our teams across the state. 2,100 citizens went out across the state of California during the November elections uh, with training from Election Integrity Project on what our election uh, laws are, how the pro procedures should be followed in our polls. And each of our 2,100 folks documented what they saw and signed their incident reports under penalty of perjury. Those documents were able to be used in our research to try to learn about what is happening in our election process. The interesting thing we found is the problem is not just coming from LA County, uh, the southern counties. It's not just coming from a particular county. The pattern is across the state. It's in all the counties. And that was a critical piece of information that we needed because then it helped us to go deeper and look at um, what is causing the problems. So thank you. Um, how many of you here actually went out to the polls and observed? Woohoo! Alrighty. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a hand. You are a part of history. Uh, this was never, uh, has never been done in California, uh, where citizens work together across our huge state to gather this kind of information. So thank you so much for taking that time. Okay, um, I'm, we're gonna go from there. What's our next one? Here's, I have to look at our agenda here. Never mind, Ruth knows it. All right, um, I do want to introduce you to Ruth. Sometimes you all see my face more because I travel up and down. And uh, we have several of our, um, our uh, board members here, our leaders here, our amazing people who work 50, 60, 70 hours a week uh, to do what we do. We are a nonpartisan. <laughs> Uh, citizen grassroots organization. Uh, none of us take a paycheck. We all uh, donate our time. And like I say, sometimes that's 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And we do this because we are committed to restoring integrity to our elections. Um, so let me introduce you to Ruth. You've already heard her speak. She is our San Diego uh, Director of Education. Thank you, Linda. Now that you've seen uh, hands raised and who's from where, make sure that you introduce yourself and meet and network every single person here. You could do that. It's a small group at the moment. So make sure that you connect because the, the thing that's so frustrating is you can get very busy in your own county and working very hard and you feel isolated and you start to feel as if, oh, well, I'm the only one doing this. And this, things like this uh, remind us that there are people all over the state working incredibly hard. Linda's fortunate enough that she gets to actually physically see that as she runs up and down the state. But we know that, and you need to know that too. So please introduce yourself to, to several people here today that you don't know, and walk away with a new friend and a new contact. 
Um, the sign-up sheets again for the for for the uh, the newsletter uh, and for uh, being contacted to volunteer if you aren't on that list are at each of these three tables here at the front that say EIP hospitality. So be sure that you sign in on one of those today. We have other groups here today who are going to address you who do phenomenal work and who do the work that EIP does by supporting us and providing us volunteers and providing us prayer support and then they have their own agendas too which we support. Once 